Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I'm going to go over what it looks like when you hook up your credit card to QuickBooks Online. And you're going to notice that it's going to be very similar to if you have your banking already connected. But there is one big difference that I've seen throw people off, and I just want to share that with you. All right, so here I am. I'm on the QuickBooks Online desktop app. And if you go over to your bank transactions, so transactions, which is right over here, and then bank transactions, and you click on that, you can see that your credit cards, um, they're just connected just the same as your banking. So whatever you use to log in, you can go ahead and find it. So if you went to manage connections, you would be able to see that I really only have one connection. Everything's all in the same one. So I have my credit cards, my savings account, my checking account, everything is through First National Bank of Omaha. So, um, so it just takes that one credentials and you just have to choose those files to bring in. And here's what they look like when the statement, when the transactions come through. So pretty easy. This is a bill I received from Planning Center. One of the things that I like to do, and I probably should set up rules or something like this, is double check that it's coded to the right spot. And I see this one isn't. So if I actually go over, I have a second tab that's open. And this would be probably the way, this is the way I do it. So I go ahead and I go over to the vendor. And I just pull up that vendor to see what kind of transactions have been coded to them. So that was Planning Center. And I'm going to put that a little bit off to the side. I could see it's always this code 5080. And they wanted me to code it to 5240. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that to 5080. Oops. And that's correct now. And the other thing I like to do is I do like to add the attachment. So I normally throw everything that I receive, this is an email bill, so I throw that in a folder that's to pay, and then I go ahead and add it. That way, if anybody wants to look at it, my auditor wants to look at it, it's there. So that was the only transaction this month for me. The one thing that's standing out here though is this payment. You can see it says thank you. That was when I paid the credit card off in full. That was the only transaction, but it shows up as spent. And I've seen a lot of the, the goofiest parts of QuickBooks Online has to deal with the credit card payments. So sometimes it's not clear exactly which card the payment went to. And in this case, it's um, showing the payment as spent instead of received. So if I click on it, let me see. I can go ahead and wonder if I record it as a transfer. And that's actually what uh, transfer to, I don't want it to be a transfer to. So none of this is really working for me. I was trying to see if I could maybe fix this transaction, but since it's showing up as spent instead of received, I received it because it was a payment that I made from my checking account to the credit card. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go ahead and check mark it and I'm gonna exclude it. And then what I'm gonna do is on 927, it was $61.60. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a transfer then. And that to me is about the cleanest way of doing this. So transfer from checking, there's my checking, to my credit card, $61.60 on, it was $9.27. And I really, I mean, pay off credit card. I could include the statement. I don't know if I have that readily available. So I maybe I'll do that later. So I'm just gonna hit save and close. And now after I've hit save and close, everything looks good. My bank balance agrees with my QuickBooks balance. 
Um, I don't have any transactions here. You can see actually when I go to my excluded, so if you accidentally exclude something you shouldn't, you can see that it's just all my payments, all these ones, because they always show up incorrectly. I don't know what to do about it. Um, if there's, I, I don't think there is any way to, to fix that from, yeah, I don't think there's any way really to fix that uh, except for excluding it and then issuing it. If you do find a way, I'd love to know. All right, that brings us to the end. So, all right, hopefully that was helpful. If you do ever find out how to fix that automatically, if there's a rule or something else to fix it, share that with me. I'd love to know, I, and I'd gladly give you credit and share it with everybody else. All right, until next time, God bless you.